Welcome back. For you, it been two, three days. For me, it been two, three minutes. I am about to do the top five survivors that's been arrested after they played the game. And this one's a little shocking. I don't know if the music is about to start playing. Can't have that happen, so I'm going to try to hurry up and do this. We have number five, Jenna Maraska. You know Jenna. Jenna's the one that got naked for peanut butter, right? Yes, that was Jenna. She got naked for peanut butter. I don't survive. I'll tell you that story. I'll tell you that story later. So, so we have Jenna. What she did was she, uh, her charge was uh, assaulting a police officer. Uh, she was on drugs. Uh, the article says she got on drugs. She was high or whatever else. A uh, police officer tried to talk to her, calm her down. She gets all crazy. She bites the police officer. Jenna Maraska, don't be biting the cops. Don't be biting the cops. You get in trouble for that. You can't bite a cop. So, yeah. Number five is pretty high on my list. Biting a police officer is never good. So try to stay away from that, kids. Uh, you know, you, you, you live a better life if you don't bite the cops. Okay. Number four. Y'all know him and love him? Richard Hatch. Richard Hatch got arrested, spent a few years, uh, I think close to four or five years in prison for not paying his taxes. Now, uh, you may think some of these are, a lot of people have problems with their taxes. The thing is with Richard, I talked to him personally about it, Richard tried to fight it. Uh, if you don't pay your taxes, they don't just throw you in jail. But Richard tried to fight it, and him trying to fight it uh, got him in trouble, and they locked him up, okay? Uh, I wish they would just be quiet so I can finish this real quick. They check in, check one, two. Next one is Brian Hedick. Hedick? Okay, now this is, this is troubling. Brian got really close to being number one and two. Brian, what he did was he literally shot a puppy with a bow and arrow. He shot a puppy. You, sh you shot a puppy with a bow and arrow. So what happened in that case was his wife called the cops. He just shot a puppy. He just hit his wife. They, I guess they was having major problems. I don't know what was going on at the time. But I know he was charged uh, with with shooting a puppy with a bow and arrow. Uh, disgusting. Uh, he should have spent prison time for that. Not only did he do that, when the cops came, he took off running. Not running on foot, running in his vehicle. So he tried to uh, escape from the scene after he did that, which is, man, I was shocked when I seen that. And I don't know if you're aware, but he also was a porn star, and he played on CBS Survivor. They found out that he was a porn star if somebody recognized his tattoo, tiger tattoo or something, and they put two and two, two and two together, and found out that, yeah, he slipped through the cracks on this one. So not only was he, uh, you know, immorally wrong, both case, in both cases, uh, he's just a all, all the right bad person. I mean, you beat your wife, uh, you're shooting puppies with bow and arrows. Who does that? Charles Manson, maybe. Jeffrey Dahmer's, maybe. And Bron Hiddick shoots a puppy with a bow and arrow. He made and whoa, whoa number three. I was shot a lot of y'all be like, how did how in the world is this guy number three? How come he's not number one? I'll tell you why. Because number two. His name is Bruce uh, Beringsford. He was arrested. He's a, actually a producer from Survivor. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in there because this is so interesting. He's an ex-producer from Survivor. While he was producing the show, he goes on a vacation with his wife in Mexico and kills her. He kill yes, he kills his wife in Mexico, and he only makes my top two list for killing his wife in Mexico. Uh, I don't want to go over the grueling details. I know them. Uh, I could tell you that he strangled her and uh, tried to hide her body. They found later her body and uh, brought him back to Mexico. He is spending time right now in Mexico uh, in a Mexican prison and only got sentenced to like uh, 12 years in prison. Over here, it had been sentenced to life. We're going to hurry up because they're about to start playing. 
Number one, Michael Scoopin. I don't care. And murder, child porn. Just possession of child porn. I'm going to have to do Michael Scoopin later. I'm going to come back when they finish. We're going to do him. Because I got a lot to say about him. Sorry, I was rudely interrupted by the band. But I wanted to talk about the top three specifically in more detail. Uh, so we have number one. We're on number one, right? Michael Scoopin, of course, number one. Now, Michael even beats... Look at that. Why do I always forget that? I always forget to turn my stupid phone sideways. Jeez, I don't know how, why, why I do that. But I'm always getting in trouble because I don't turn my phone sideways. Anyway, so we're talking about Michael Scoopin. Uh, this is a situation with him. He uh, got caught. Michael had a... Uh, a pyramid scheme going on. He even called me about it. He even asked me to, to put money in it. A pyramid schemes work for a little while. You make a little money, but at the end of the day, someone gets screwed because you take people's money, you keep giving other people's their money, and it just becomes a non endless cycle of madness. So he gets in trouble for that, and an investigation starts because of that, right? Get where the wind's not too bad investigation starts because of that and uh, it, so they go into his home and they seize his computer when they seize his computer obviously we find uh, child porn on his computer the crazy thing about it all is Michael uh, uh, insinuates even when he spoke to the judge before he was sentenced he insinuated he did not do it. He don't know when, where, how this happened. But I have somewhat, I don't know, 14 kids. He has a lot of kids. I don't know how many, but tons of kids. And he was insinuating that his own children did this. Not him, his kids. Tons of people have access to my computer. No, the people in your family have access to, to your computer. So he insinuated that it was one of his kids that did it. it. wasn't him. He still says it's not him. I don't believe that. I believe it was him. Now, uh, I have him over. Number two was a murderer. A survivor, a producer that murdered someone. Number three, Brian. I want to talk about them three specifically. Uh, I just found out this. And I'm kind of glad that I got interrupted by the band. I just found out this that Brian just did a podcast with Fairplay and I found out what he was saying. Uh, uh, I would never have Brian in a podcast. Never. I have my pod, the Russell Hent show. I would never have Brian do a podcast with me and Fairplay shouldn't either. And when he says that he sh thought it was a coyote or some other type of animal, it was a puppy. A puppy. He's lying. And I don't care what he says, he's lying. He knew it was a dog. He shot it with a bow and arrow. And guess what? Surprisingly, the dog lived. So that's a little bit of good news. But I don't care if he would have missed. It shows what kind of person he is. Those three people are, t t in my eyes, all the same. Abuse animals in the way of killing them. Uh, murder, of course, and child abuse. Look, the pictures that you look at, Michael probably watch this, Michael. The picture that you, I know your appetite, they have all kind of uh, porn that you watch nowadays, and your appetite for that, uh, it, you crave it more and more because you can, there's so much access to it. So you, you, what you do is you go to a younger source, which is terrible. Uh, and you know, there's really no excuse for it. Uh, you know, you want a young uh, woman, 18, man, 18, it's legal. <laughs> that's a little wrong probably still, but guess what? It's legal. And uh, that's, to me, it's the worst one of all. I have little girls, uh, I have daughters, it's of age, of course, they're they're 19. I have a little girl, it's, it's 12, and I put that in perspective. 
So that's it. This is the top of my top 10, uh, five through one. You know, it's uh, some of them are a little disturbing to me. Uh, the research made me a little angry, some of them. But it is what it is, and this is it. So if you guys enjoyed, comment below, please. Uh, subscribe, like it, hit the bell. Uh, today, I'm about to go somewhere and do the Russell's perspective of the top 10 villains of all time. And I will not include myself. It doesn't make sense. Of course, I'm biased. Uh, so the only thing I'm going to include myself in, of course, you know, the, the, the handsome part. I can't talk. So, so no. Uh, uh, subscribe. You, know, you guys, uh, you know, get, I'm getting a lot of people that's asking questions. That's fine. Keep asking questions. Keep giving me advice on what I need to do or what I need to fix. And I appreciate you guys watching. And keep hope alive.